Hello guys, this is Paula back to do a flip through of the Alice in Wonderland. Basically, it's just all about Alice. And so, um, we started this about a week ago, I think, kind of took our time. And I didn't have a book the size of the pages, so I, um, I just made my own book out of heavy chipboard. And here is the two spines. It is cut, the whole book is covered in canvas. And then I went back and filmed three different papers that I really liked together to go with the, the kit, which is the one that is all about Alice. <laughs> okay, so it's two signatures. It's got canvas that's been tea stained. And it's got this greenish color paper on the front and also it has been stitched on they're stitching on the um, front which is friend uh, has fringe all the way around I popped it up on some foam tape um, to give it dimension and to make it not look puffy um, so I stitched all this it took me a couple days I'm slow poke what can I say so the paper is from Pink Paisley, Paige Evans, and it's fancy free, okay, uh, if you're interested in that. And so, I am, um, this is the first page, which is this checkered kind of blocks, stripes, and checks. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to hold it up a little bit so you can see. Um... Okay, the inside of the book was covered with canvas on the spine, and then I put a little bit of the floral uh, lace. And so here is your library pocket. I did not use the one that came with the kit because I wanted to use it on another page. And so I just added the I added some of the pa the third paper, which is gray gray with a cream background. And here is the library card. And it actually has Alice, it says Alice Adventures in Wonderland, which I thought was cool, Tracy, that you put that there. And it has the author on here and so on and so forth. So, this is the library card. And I had some space left above, so I decided to stamp a floral, um, page stamp and then behind it I went ahead and added a pocket and I put all about Alice behind there so that you would know that it's it's about Alice it's not the exact story of Alice in Wonderland it does have all the characters that are in the book but um, this is not a story it's really uh, the principles of Alice. So, you can find it in Love Junk Journals by Tracy Fox on Etsy. And I'll leave a link below, okay? So, I just thought it was kind of fun. And so, I just wrote it on here and did it in a wonky alpha. Now, and, and I did it long like the pocket was. So, let's move on. I, I used a gray-blue which is what this is to do all the stitching and I did it on all of the um, cardstock and I did it on I think I did it on a tea stain paper we'll see as we get closer okay here is a long the long pocket and long tag that came with the kit it says drink me on here and then here's Alice looking all wonky it says, um, it was all very well to say drink me, but the wise little Alice was not going to do that in a bury. So I thought that was <laughs> funny, you know. Of course you're not if you look like that, right? Now, I did add muslin tabs only on the Alice papers, okay? So everywhere there's a Alice paper, I put a tab 
So basically, I think it's like 12 tabs total, okay? Um, so here is Alice holding the bottle that says, Drink Me. And it's kind of a blue tone. I don't know if you can tell. The light in here is kind of weird to me. But it always looks good on the video, so I'm just not going to fret about it. And so there's the back. Everything in here was tea stained except the cardstock, and we and we and I used uh, ink on those. So here's a vintage music or hymnal sheet. A journaling. This is a nice, nice paper. Really nice. It's new. It's some paper that I I found. Ledger paper, and this is just a stationary paper with water waves. And this is a paper that has a quote on it. It says, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellent, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. I like that. Okay, and there's a couple of those in the book. And here is another um, appointment schedule-like page. And here's your tea stain, and it, it is got the zigzag on it. Um, here's your next Alice sheet, and I just took what she had as the back of her library card for the back portion. I, I um, folded the top over and, and made it like a, a, um, a, a tuck, you know, so I, I zigzagged around it, threw on this old black flower and the bead on it was white and I just took my sharpie and changed its color and I just put a couple little tags that I made out of some uh, nine gypsies or seven gypsies I don't know why I said nine I knew it was seven ephemera and I used a little bit of that in the kit as well so here's a notes came out of a notepad and here's the blue. Now, it didn't get zigzag, so maybe not all of them did. I think it's the front and the back and the center pages. Here's a tiny little um, kind of planner. And on this side, it's just a little tiny grid. It's, it's kind of cool. A youth uh, dictionary page, a grid. And on the... Um, the printer paper. I'm getting all tongue-tied tonight. I zigzagged at the bottom across the whole bottom before I bound it. Here's an another daily planner. This says, you can't see it real well because it's light, but it says things to do and it's lined as well. Here's the caterpillar uh, from Alice and I didn't do anything, if I didn't do anything on this side that has the pictures, and there's Alice right there on the other side of the mushroom, I, I usually would do something uh, on the back side, but on this one I didn't do anything. And here is some more tea stain, and look at this really cool butterfly. It's like a stationary, and I dyed it, and it just kind of changed color. <laughs> Kind of cool. And here's the center of signature one. I want to show you why, why, while we are here. Good grief. Uh, I, I put little buttons instead of beads on this book. And I want to show you how cute it looks up close so you can kind of see. They're, they're just, they're short. There's just two buttons, but it's, it's a, like an inch and a half long. Um. And then I zigzagged on the center page here. This is a true journaling book. So if you like to journal, you're going to have tons of space. It has 88 pages front and back. And, um, and just a few decorated because I wanted to leave it where you could do your own thing. So this is one of the options for the library pocket but I didn't use that. Uh, I used it to put tags and so forth. And I glued that way. So to the tea party. Um, so, and here's a couple cute little tags that came from um, the Seven Gypsies pack. And here are the spade 
the playing cards that have spades on them. And th this is a tiny little, little um, envelope, and I just think they're adorable. And I just made a little fold-over journaling spot out of the blue paper that's in the in the um, pink paisley brand. Okay, so we're gonna put that back in here, and I just think they look cute. And I tried to use different toppings on the tag or toppers on the tags, and and not big bushy ones. Now, see, we decorated the back of the page. Here's the front. And some more pages here. We're looking at the second side of these pages that we I introduced to you in the first side of the signature. And now right here, about a month ago, I think, I did a lot of collaging and we, we all got to... Um, Go along with that, but I want to show you up close this collaged card I made. Now, I think it turned out really cute, and it has everything. It's got um, a font type or text type paper, and then brown cardstock that I um, stitched on. I did zigzag on the text, and then straight stitch on the brown cardstock and then there's burlap and then there's like one two three four five about five different fabrics that are vintage these fabrics came out of an old estate sale and they were very old and I washed them all up and so then here's a piece of lace that goes this way piece of burlap that goes this way and lace on top of it and then there's two little crocheted flowers that used to be in a doily, and I took them apart. And here's a, a two buttons, and I, I just tied with some twine a little bow. I love it. And it was, listen, you know how I love to collage, but I really, I like the way it looks on this blue paper. And um, that's why I didn't put it in an envelope, because... Yeah, you don't need an envelope for that. And paper clipped it down with a gold paper clip. Okay, so here's some more of the note paper, and here is a a little bag that I put on, and I covered it in that uh, check, not check, squares and stripes paper. And this is a vintage uh, flash card. I mean, there it's very yellow, and it's not because I inked it. I mean, it's just, it's old. And then we have a little, one of the little journaling cards of, um, I believe that's the Queen of Hearts. Or no, it's Alice and a frog. <laughs> I don't know all the characters, so excuse me for that. Just never really got into Alice, but it's been kind of interesting and fun to work with Alice books. So... This arrow says wrong way. So the arrow previous said to the right. And this one says wrong way. And I just randomly put the arrows down in whichever direction they would find the page. Uh, Tracy's digital kit page that has the tea party. Okay. There we go. And now here is a Rolodex card, one of the bigger ones. And I glued the bottom and the, the left side and doodled around it to give it some dimension. And these little butterflies just came out of um, the, the uh, Seven Gypsies. And here's Alice looking at this. Drink me. This is the larger tag that... Um, comes in the kit and here she is she's very curious and on the on this side of the page I put two of the flags and one says drink me it's like trying to convince her zigzag here this is in the center of the book okay between the two signatures I have a trifold now, I'm going to put it to the side, and we'll come back and look at that last. Um, so we're going to go on to signature two. 
and I used um, some stuff from Ooh La La Crafts, some um, fabric ribbon is what I call it because it's what it reminds me of. And here's that ornery looking cat. If his face don't say it, nothing does. Um, so I, this is an index card. <laughs> I've got to tell you what I did. I had this index card on my table, and I'm like, what can I do with that? And I needed one more pocket. So you can't see it, but the index card was folded over on both sides, and I glued down the other side. So under here is where it was folded over. You can't tell by looking. Okay, and um, we'll carry on. Here's a music sheet from that same hymnal, and another... Um, planner sheet. I love planner sheets in a journal because you've got the lines and you've got dates and sometimes they say notes and you know and you can add any of that stuff. Here is the stationery that looks like water waves and here's the second qu quote. It says, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn like those quotes that's a new I got that at uh, Office Depot um, or Office Max I'm not sure which one it is but I went in there and they were having a sale on several different journal stuff and I grabbed them okay now here are the spades again around the tree now this is the other pocket that could have been with the library pocket but I wanted to use it this way so I just put some ephemera in here, you know, that came from the Seven Gypsies. But I also took two of the tags that come in the kit. There's a total of four uh, to the kit. And then I kind of glued them on wonky. Uh, like here is the same rabbit with the hearts. Um, and then the one on the back has Alice. But... I just did that to give it a different look. I didn't put glue on the top part, just on the bottom. I thought it turned out kind of fun. There is your arrow that says this way. I guess we're getting closer to the tea party, huh? Here's another of those mini journals. grid paper. Here's some more print print paper. Printer paper and I zigzagged on the bottom of that one as well. Things to do. And on back of the things to do paper, because Tracy's, uh, one of Tracy's pages had the um, Mad Hatter, I thought I would put this stuff on the opposite side and it is the tea party. I guess they finally arrived uh, so you can see here it's a cool image it was like all of the images look like they're hand uh, sketched so here's uh, another one of Alice and instead of putting a fabric in the top I put buttons I did that on a couple of the tags in the at least as part of the kit here's some more of the butterfly paper and you can see that I did not go overboard. Really, it is just enough um, in this book for someone that loves to journal. Um, and they can add whatever they want. And, and they'll see the kind of design it is. And you'll be able to add to it without any problem. So, right here is the rabbit. The white rabbit. And... They, he was sketched up super nice looking. And it says, what a funny watch, she remarked, being Alice, I assume. It tells the day of the month and doesn't tell what o'clock it is. Don't ask me what that's supposed to mean. I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person then. So, it's a picture of his, his pocket watch. And here's a couple tags I made. I just thought they were cute and went along well with the kit. I needed a few little extra tags here and there. We're moving right along. 
some more dictionary teenage type dictionary look at this little tiny grid i just think it's so cute i'm gonna bring it up don't get dizzy <laughs> okay now on this i just took this from the seven gypsies also and um this is one of the this is the large envelope twiddle dee and twiddle them and i did the same thing in all the envelopes i just folded over and inked up a piece of one of the three card stocks. And this is a altered clip. And I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's music sheet that is vintage. And then I, I just used my pinking shears and went around the black fabric. Then I popped up, see, I popped up a little circle and then put a black button on it. I just thought it was cute. It actually goes with one of my zigzag pockets, which you'll see in a minute. I added one of those to this to this kit. Um, just for this the purpose of this book. Here's some more music. And there is um, your et <laughs> entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. Uh, so here's a little envelope with the caterpillar on it that has paper in it as well. Um, this is a cute little kit. It just adds conversation to your book, you know, to your journal, and that's fun. Uh, would you like a little more tea? Of course, this is at the tea party. And this little ticket has a teapot on it. So I just stapled those up in the corner. I thought they looked so cute. And over here is the cat page. And if you look up here, this arrow is pointing back to the pages we just left. It says this way, our tea party. It says tea party. And this is a little ticket I just kind of stapled up on that arrow of the cat. And I had an extra tag, so I add the rabbit to the end the white rabbit and I decided I had this really cool chalkboard um, tag and so I just wrote out all about Alice on it and then I just put some paper on the back just some fun little paper thought I'd start it with all about Alice and end it with all about Alice now on this very back cover I have one of my zigzag pockets. You can actually get up to 10 if you use the little mini ones in here. But I've put it in my last book and I feel like it was it looked a little crowded and so I like it better like this. You can see here that this is one of the old buttons from my mother's buttons and this one is too. You can see the dirty old thread in there that never got cut out. And so there's a pocket. I've got a tutorial on making this zigzag pocket. And so you just, up here, this one has, uh, it's long, and it has a snap at the top. A couple of them do, this one and this one. This one has a black um, hole re uh, re reinforcer, and then a button, and a button with some cheesecloth, and this little scallop circle tag so that is the back of the book so you'll see the front and back paper are different and inside you'll notice that this is blue this is green I kind of alternated all the papers even in the middle of the two spines and then when you get to the back they're different so I did that on purpose I just thought it was kind of fun so here in the middle of this journal um, we made on a couple of videos we attempted to get this done and my camera kept messing up I know you guys are aware of that and I didn't know what to do because we had already spent so much time on this so I just did the best I could so this is a trifold um, time card and I just tore up different things like a paper that says info and a paper that said name um, notes and checklist 
And then I went over it with some different ink <clears throat> stamps, you know, text from a stamp. And then I just did like a postage stamp there. And this is an, a real stamp. And I, I can't read where it's from, but it does have a postmark on it. So I just thought it went really, really well with the color scheme of the front. And so th I tried to stick with some of the music theme here and putting words for journaling. So we're going to open it up. And the first thing you come up on is, is the um, belly band. And I just put some vintage uh, music sheet in under the belly band. I didn't want anything too bulky because it's already going to be, you know, when you're done, bulky enough. And so this is some of Ooh La Crafts music um, fabric ribbon. Now I'm going to open the whole thing out. I kind of did it like, like that, okay? So I'm going to move the book to the side for a minute while we go through this. It's tied with um, seam binding. Uh, you don't have to put that on there if you don't want to. That's going to be your choice, whoever ends up with it. But I showed you how to add on uh, hinges and two different types of hinges. And then we covered the time card on these, uh, on these two. Um, and actually three, because that's the third one up there. But we added an, an Otami type hinge where you just fold the, the tea stain paper over Put it on here where it will, will, will go out to the right. I feel like I'm stuttering today. I'm sorry if I sound that way. So whenever we added this piano keys, which just was in the front and back of this music book, um, I just thought they looked fun and they had lines so they could be journaled on. So I just added the word journal right here. And then this is some vintage music sheet. And in between these two here, see when you open it, you have this little area here. I just put notes. And if you remember right last night, I was trying, I went blank on how to do my closure. I had it all figured out before I did the video. And then I couldn't remember for the life of me. Well, it was because I had not made the Alice word. And this is one of the little journaling cards from Alice. And we're using it to help attach the bottom to the top. So if you'll watch closely, you'll see that this little Alice journaling card is slid up under the word Alice. Can you see the word Alice? It looks really dark because some of them are dark, but this is Tim Holt's little Alphys, uh, but it does say Alice. It's red, cream, red, yellow, orange. So, so I put it on here, and when I glued it on, I glued on both sides and a little bit at the top and saved an area to slide your little circle. This is how I had planned it, um, and since I was putting all about Alice in the book in a couple places, I decided we'll just put Alice in here. So this must be Alice's journal, <laughs> our trifold. So if you watch, when I pull it out, it just slips right out. And when I close it back, it just slips right under. You have to kind of hold it up. But that's all right. It works. So there you go. All right. So we added these two hinges as well. This one's much longer than this one. As a matter of fact, they're, they actually meet in the center right there or in the top three-fourths. <laughs> this is journal book. And down here says memories. So I really like the way it turned out. It's not over the top fancy, but it it has this little bit of a music theme. And I felt like Alice would be into music since she's been on the, on the stage. <laughs> so I'm closing all of this back. And then we're going to, this is how I, I had it folded. Instead of having it folded in, which made it more bulky, I feel like. I folded it back. And so when you get back here, you can see it still that way. And um, and then on this very back page, or no, this is the very back. I left it as it was. 
but I put notes on the one that hinged out the large uh, flap. So, there you go. It ends up having an extra flap, just slightly smaller than these flaps, you know, here. And, um, and you can fold it in like this, or you can fold it back. I just felt like going back was the better choice. Now, and then I just tied it um, up above right where it says notes. And then I did not attach it to the book because I felt like it would make the book way too bulky. So I just tied it, if I can get my fingers to work on this slippery seam binding. This seam binding has been ink stained. So it's not gonna be bright white or anything. I didn't tie that very tight. I made my loops too big. Okay, and also with this book, Rather than uh, putting a hitch post on it or putting a band or a ribbon or something around it, I thought I would just include the hinge post and, and the rubber band thing that attaches to it. And so I'll, I'll send all that with this book in case the person wants it. But I, I kind of liked it without anything. I mean... I didn't, the only thing that's making it pooch out a little bit is the time card, but it's just slipping here, and it's the exact same height. The book is a 6 by 5 I think that's wrong. I think it's a 7 for some reason. Let's just measure it to be on the safe side. It is a 7 on its height, 7 um, by 5. 7 by 5 and it's the first time I've completely made the book um, as far as um, the actual book and it's the first time I've used canvas I will tell you this that canvas will anything you any kind of glue will go right through it it didn't on the spine which who knows why but it did here and here and that's what made me decide, that's really what sent me down the path to this unusual combination of papers and very subtle. They're not bright and over the top. And that's why I decided not to add ribbon. I wanted it to be a simple journal. So, this will go up in my Etsy store um, in probably about three hours. And right now it is 8.10 Central Standard Time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to go visit Tracy and check out all her wonderful digi digital kits. I mean, you go in to her account, and you're like, okay, what do I get? Because there's a lot of fun, cool things, and I know she just added one or two new kits. So this is the Alice in Wonderland, or Alice, all about Alice. However you want to look at it, it's Alice. And so, and it is uh, a fun little kit to work with. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to give you one a bit of information. I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to tell you uh, what is coming up. We are going to be doing a, um, a rainbow type book. And in between making books, I think we're going to make pages. Uh, you know, an, one open page at least, if not two. And we're going to do it in primary colors, except we're adding pink and we're taking away black and brown. So it's just going to be a bright, fun journal. It will end up being a journal. We'll get down to the end of the road and we'll do, we'll make a journal. Now, I will tell you this. It's pretty involved to make one page of what how I'm going to do it and how I've seen it done before. Um, so I've been wanting to do it for the longest time, but uh, it's just always been something else, you know, that has taken its place 
and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I have. I'm going to show you now so we don't have to do an intro when we actually do the video. So I'm going to turn it this way. This is, I always work from a box like this, but still stuff ends up everywhere. I, I'm not even going to kid you about that. This is my book that I took some notes in. Okay, so I've got some Grimm's store, uh, fairy tale uh, old paper, and it is old. Um, and this is all going to be one page, okay? I threw this in just because it's in the blue. We're going to do blue first. And I thought, well, maybe we can finally find a purpose for that. And I threw in both these ribbons because there is one place that needs ribbon. And I thought we'd just see which one looked the best. And this is the napkin that we're going to be using. Actually, it's going to take three because these are the small drink napkins. But I just I'm going to show you now how I did this. So that whenever you do um, follow along, you'll know how I took the napkins apart. Because I really am going to have to have everything ready. Um, and this is going to be our next video. Just FYI too. Um, I got tape. And I just took a little bit of tape. And went to one corner. And hit the tape onto. If I can get my fingers up here onto the napkin. This just has one extra lining of paper. This is Jane Davenport um, tissue. I'm saying paper, but it's tissue. So I laid out three. If we need more, I've got more. But this is just splatters. And yes, there is a tiny bit of green. It's like she threw in a couple splatters of green, but I really wanted to use this for the blue. And once we add everything else to it, it's just going to take over. Here is the blue card stock that we're going to use. I'm not going to tell you what for yet. And this is the fabric that we're going to use. I'm not going to tell you what for. And this is, we're going to use, we have to have a dictionary paper. But, and it needs to be, all the pages are going to be eight and a half by 11 okay just a standard copy paper size so I threw some copy paper paper in here oh my goodness I think if I even tried to say a riddle I'd be in trouble um so there is the copy paper and then I went ahead and put the music sheet in because I've decided I want to have the music sheet as my background um for my tissue because you'll be able to see it through the tissue but I am going to use the dictionary um, page as well. And so I looked in the dictionary. It was new to me. I just got it this past weekend. And I looked for the words. So this one says blue J, blue, blue this, blue that. And uh, right here is the actual word blue. So I thought, that's kind of cool. So we'll incorporate that. This is the stencil. If we use a stencil that we're going to use. And here's some extra paper right down here. And this page is also going to have embellishments. So we'll do, we'll try to get the page done and then we'll worry about the embellishment and um, so forth. But I think this is going to be a fun thing to keep us busy through the winter. I know winter's half over, but I think it'll be fun. And so that's the end of this video. I'm going to get busy getting the book up on Etsy. I've got to take some pictures of it. And if you're interested, that's where you can find it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. And um, I just pray that you guys continue to watch me and enjoy the videos. And if you guys have any suggestions of anything you would like to do, if it's at all possible, I'll do it. And once this this is over so this is going to happen in between books so i just finished the alice book we're going to do this page and decorate it it might take two videos and then i'm going to do a little golden book and then we'll do another page of the rainbow book and so forth so if you haven't subscribed please do and get in on the 
first page in the next video and uh, see where this ends. I don't even know. I've never made one. So I don't know how fast it will go. I think the first one will take a little longer than hopefully the others, but we'll see. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.